Hey, Gearheads, holidays are over, but he's back in the grind here. We're going to do a little work on this uh, Dodge M37 project today, guys. We're going to cut and cut the old spring perches off, weld new ones on. Guys, Santa Claus uh, brought me uh, some stuff I needed. It's not expensive stuff. It's not a fuel injection. It's uh, stuff, guys, but not any stuff. It's rough stuff stuff. Guys, this uh, stuff I ordered from uh, Rough Stuff Specialties out of California. Good stuff. Um, got this little logo weld on. This is a laser cut. Kind of cool. We'll put that on the uh, Dodge somewhere. Anyway, guys, we talked about uh, we're going to shim the pinion. I decided against the shims. I'm not a big advocate of uh, shims, even though these would work probably excellent. Guys, these are uh, machine steel shims. They will uh, actually weld to your spring perch, become an integral part of your perch. They're the strongest, best route to go, guys. If any of you guys are going to shim your pinion, this is the way to go. You don't want to use cast steel. You don't want to use aluminum, especially cast aluminum. No kind of aluminum, guys. That's a recipe for disaster. Um, there's so much stress on these perches with your um, axle flex, spring flex, rotational flex, Guys, aluminum uh, shims will, they'll crack, um, they'll crush, and they, they will fall out. I've seen them actually fall out of uh, axles. So we're not going to run these, guys. <clears throat> we're going to cut the old perches off, weld new ones on, do it right, and then you don't have anything. You know, you don't worry about your axle falling out, guys. So we're going to do this right. Um, we ordered these from uh, Rough Stuff. Well, Santa did. And they came. They got here two days uh Guys, um, Dan Fredrickson from Rough Stuff, he, he ships right away. And, uh, guys, the quality of the stuff that comes from Rough Stuff is uh, pretty much unparalleled. It's, um, it's just top, top quality stuff. The workmanship and uh, precision of what, what they make, guys, is uh, good stuff. Dan, Dan, I'll give you an A-plus for that. Uh, this is a plug for you, by the way. Okay, let's look at these spring perches, guys. These are, um, I had to order these, these were, these are made for an international scout. Um, these are narrow, these are all, uh, narrow two inch width, guys. Unfortunately, um, the Dodge M37 and international scout, they share the same narrow two inch leaf springs, which entirely is not a bad, bad setup, guys. They have a, these Dodge M37s are legendary for uh, the amount of flex in the suspension. And I attribute that to the, the chassis flex and also the uh, narrow springs, guys. They flex like crazy. Um, it'll be a good thing. So, But anyway, guys, most of your uh, spring perches you can buy out there on the Internet, they're all for two and a half inch or three inch wide leaf springs for the, you know, the big GM Chevy leaf springs that a lot of guys are using. So we went with these narrow scout uh, perches. They're heavy duty, they're quarter inch laser cut. These are bent on a 290 ton press. Just beautiful, beautiful work, Dan. Okay, anyway, guys, um, these are radius for a uh, two and three quarter inch um, Dana 44 axle. Uh, but we're going to be putting them on a 14 bolt axle, guys. The uh, axle tube on a 14 bolt is three and three eighths diameter. So we had to do a little massaging on these, grind them out. I've already done one to show you guys. Um, there's not much to it, show you right where to cut and everything. Um, as you can see, this has been radius for the three and three eighths axle tube on the 14 bolt. Guys, you just measure measure your radius for your axle, whatever size you're gonna use. This this one happened to be uh, three and three eighths. So we just had to cut a little, little wedge out here, guys. You don't have to cut clear up in here. You don't want to, guys, because you want that to saddle on your uh, axle square. We're going to use this paint can. See, so you want that to saddle on your axle square, and it's going to actually ride up here on that that part. So, anyway, this little radius was cut out. Guys, you can use a, a peanut grinder, um, a torch. If you're good with a torch, you can use a torch. I'm not that good with a torch, but uh, I just used a belt grinder, guys couple passes on the belt grinder like that and uh, you've got your radius there you're set you're good to go so anyway we're going to be cutting uh, the old ones off putting these on today nice stuff Dan 
We're going to uh, set the pinion angle with this angle finder. Guys, I bought this from Harbor Freight, another Harbor Freight tool. And yes, guys, you do have to tweak with this a little bit. Um, let me show you what's going on with this thing, if I can pull this off. Okay, guys, this has three little magnets embedded in it. Um, these magnets are not super glued or anything in there. So, unfortunately, when you set this down on your workpiece and pick it up, these three little magnets stay on your workpiece. Very frustrating, guys. I don't have any super glue today or I would have glued them in. Anyway, all, Harbor Freight stuff is always quirky. You always have to mess with it. So, anyway, let's set this up and show you how it works. I've actually checked out, check this out, guys. It works pretty nice. It, it actually, um, I wanted to check it and see if it was accurate. I checked it against this on a couple various angles, guys. This is dead nuts accurate. That's a, that's a real tool there. This is a kind of tool, but we'll uh, look at it. Okay, guys, first thing you want to do is find a good level spot to calibrate it. Our uh, weld table here is pretty good. We're sitting pretty good uh, as far as level. So we'll set this up, calibrate it, hit the cowl. Let me turn my light, headlight on. Sometimes you gotta hit this a couple times, guys, to get it to uh, wake up and calibrate. Let's try it here. There we got zero degrees. Okay, we're level on our weld table. Guys, we're gonna set it on our uh, eight degree spring perch. So guys, we're reading 7.9 degrees um, on our eight degree uh, not spring perch, but a uh, pinion wedge. So I'm gonna go with this. I think it'll be accurate enough for what we're doing. We're not building a spaceship. We're shimming a pinion, guys. So anyway, that's an eight inch uh, shim. You can see it it's stamped on there. Okay, we're gonna go uh, crawl under this and uh, undo some things. We're gonna undo some brake lines. Undo, drop the brake lines. Take these U-bolt uh, plates off. Drop the drive shaft. We're going to bring this axle out the back, guys, or out the side here. Let's pick it up. We're going to pick this uh, truck right up right now, right off the ground. Slide this uh, big saw horse under there. Okay, guys, we're going to drop the axle. Here we go. Hey, gearheads, we've got everything unbolted. We're going to drop this axle out. Lost a little brake fluid in the process. That's okay, we gotta re-bleed the brakes. Try dropping this axle down and out. Okay guys, we're gonna walk that axle out this side and set it up and uh, cut these birches off. Here we go. <laughs> okay, your heads, we're working on the second spring perch here. Let's turn this off and try it. Hey guys, we got these uh, re-arched, fit the 14 bolt axle like that. That sits nice and flush. You got no gap on the top. No gap on the top. That's why I said, guys, when you do these, don't take any meat out of this part. That'll uh, that's what centers your uh, spring perch on the axle. This is the second one we just did. See, we're out a little bit on that side, guys. We've got a bit of a gap on the top. This side is fine, so we've got to take a little more meat out of this side. Here we go. Okay, gearheads, we brought both our spring perches uh, re-arched for the, Dana, or the GM 14 bolt. They sit on really nice. Okay, so those will be welded on in a minute. First, guys, we have to get these old perches out of there. There's two ways of doing it. You can cut them out with a torch, or you can grind them out. Guys, I'm gonna try grinding today. It's a little um, less mess than uh, torching. It's also a lot cooler. It won't uh, heat up our uh, axle shaft. So we're gonna cut them out. We'll try it with this peanut grinder and a 16th inch uh, cutoff disc. Okay, be back in a sec. <laughs> Hey guys, almost forgot, before you cut the old perches off, mark them, see where they're at on your uh, axle. Let me get this hoist out of the way, and we'll, we'll mark them here. Get this out of the way. 
Okay, guys, I put a little index mark on this uh, um, square edge here. That mark in the black, that's the outside of the spring purchase where the new ones will go. Check the other side. Right to the edge there. Okay, guys, we're good both sides with our mark. So now we can go ahead and cut these off. Here we go. Fun stuff, guys. Cutting and grinding. Thank you, heads. We got the one perch cut off. I, I used the um, peanut grinder and the cutoff disc. I went through two discs to cut that off. Guys, you got to make several angle cuts. And uh, it left a little bit high. We're going to have to hit it with a big wheel, grind that down. Now we're going to try it. an interesting comparison, guys. Um, this cut here took me nine minutes to grind that off. We're going to try the torch. See how long that takes. And we'll see uh, what kind of uh, junk we're left with here, guys. I'm not real good on a torch. I mean, I can, I can cut, cut a straight line, but as uh, far as precision, getting in here without nicking that tube. We'll give it a try, guys. Okay, here we go. We'll time that, too. This ought to be fun. Hey, gearheads. Got this second perch cut off. That took four and a half minutes. Turn this torch off. I didn't have a smoke break here, guys. Anyway, uh, we used the torch on this side. Um, angle grinder with cutoff wheel on that side. This side took almost twice as long to cut, but we got it down pretty good with our initial cuts. Torch pop. <laughs> this side, guys, we got it down pretty good. Initial cut with the torch. Looks like I might have gouged the axle a little bit there. Looks like I gouged it some. Guys, it, uh, if it's up to me, I would rather use the angle grinder. You got more precision with it. At least I do. And uh, less slag, guys, to contend with than uh, torch cutting. Anyway, we'll get these well, these uh, per old perches cleaned up, guys. We'll mount the new ones on, set them on, put this axle back under the truck, and uh, set the pinion angle. Hang in there. Hey, gearheads, we got all the um, old grind marks, all the old grind steel um, ground off this. Um, guys, I used a regular uh, grinding disc and a flapper wheel. Anyway, we got it. This is the side we torch cut. Guys, I got a couple little gouges. Um, I don't think they'll hurt anything. Anyway, we went and marked our uh, reference mark here off our straight edge. And uh, I've wrapped a piece of... Uh, this is flat stock, guys, like spring roll, flat stock. Anyway, that lay that on, that'll square itself up, and uh, then you can transfer your mark all the way around it. However, we just do the top half. We're going to set our perches on there. Just a sec. Guys, this is where the new perches are going to go. They're lined up on their new marks. Uh, now we have to slide the axle back in. We actually have to U-bolt the axle back in before we can set the pinion angle correctly. We'll do that. Here we go. Hey guys, I just want to say we did the comparison. We ground the old perches off here. We torched those off. It's sixes, guys. Uh, probably the best way to go would be a plasma cutter, but I don't have one yet. Anyway, um, the uh, torch was a little bit quicker, but I had more slag to grind off. This uh, cutoff wheel was a little slower, but less grinding after, guys. So they kind of weighed out. That was interesting, y'all doing that. Okay, we're gonna slide this under and uh, boulder up. Okay, guys, we got the axles back in. They're sitting on their little marks. Spring perches are in. U bolts are in. They're not sucked up too tight. Turn my headlight on here. See, we're sitting on our line here. Same as the other side. Okay, guys, we are going to put the wheels on. Put the bed on. Load this. Load this down. This truck down to ride height with all the weight, spare tire, and everything. And we're going to set this pinion angle. Let me give you guys a little overview of why I'm doing this twice. You might think, uh, boy, he's retarded. Let me see if I can turn on a flash here. All right, guys. Originally, when I mocked this up, let me get it comfortable here. Um, I had a uh, Mary transfer case, which means, guys, there was a coupling off this uh, tranny. It came back to about here. Then the transfer case used to sit here, the output shaft. 
So that was for a marriage setup, guys, with the transfer case. I went and divorced, uh, I put this stub shaft in a, a divorce Dodge transfer case. So when we move this output shaft back, guys, on this uh, transfer case, that drastically changed the driveline angle. It dropped the driveline angle a ton. So anyway, this uh, the original mock-up was not shown in the videos. But um, anyway, this is what we got now. And I had this driveline built for this uh, output shaft length. So we just have to roll this pinion up, guys, and get a nice uh, straight shot into our um, pinion there. Okay, here we go. Guys, I've got a plan B. <coughs> Excuse me, we're not going to put the tires on, guys. We're going to uh, put jack stands here under these hubs. Um, that'll be okay, guys. Uh, I'm going to set it right on this hub, then we'll be able to rotate that pinion. But I'm still going to leave this here as a safety net. We'll let it down. See what we got. Okay, we're going to come all the way down. There's a lot of flex in that suspension. Okay guys, we've got a little bit of a safety net right here. We're gonna be working under this uh, axle. We'll give it a good shake here. I think we're good. Okay, we're gonna set the bed on and uh, weight this thing down. Here we go. Okay, gearheads, we got the bed on, uh, axle in. Like I said, we're sitting on the hub. We've got a safety net here. We've still got the big jack stand, or the big uh, sawhorse under it. I've got a floor jack, guys, under the pinion right there. Got the little angle finder. We're gonna set this up one more time. Zero it. We're really not taking reference from um, level, guys. We're taking reference from uh, the output shaft angle, um, driveline angle, and the uh, pinion angle, but we're gonna set this to zero. It might make things a little nicer, more fun. Okay, guys, we're... Uh, Zero, looks like we don't need to calibrate. Okay, let's crawl under this and see what we got. Oh. These U-bolts are still loose. They're just kind of hanging there. So we're gonna try to rotate this pinion up. Here guys, let me turn the flash on on this thing. Okay, that shows up a little better. Okay guys, we're sitting at uh, 16 point, about 16 degrees. What we want to do is measure this pinion. Okay, guys, the pinion is at uh, 86.5 degrees. So let's say 86 degrees. Okay, guys, from 90, that's four degrees. Um, and uh, 16 degrees, guys. We got to come up about, what, 11 degrees? Let's see if we can rotate this pinion up. I'm going to start jacking on this. Uh, floor jack Guys what we want to be in, left up ended up with is about two degree difference between this and uh, And this here the face of this pinion or guys you can measure your angle off the top of a u-joint yoke either one Just a flat parallel you got to be flat parallel or 90 with this yoke and parallel or 90 with that drive line so Let's bring it up, guys. We're shooting, like I said, for one or two degrees. I'm going to go two degrees down on this pinion just because these springs are narrow and they're super flexy. There's a lot of axle wrap in those. Um, springs, guys, you want your, your yoke to point down or your pinion just maybe one degree because when you're under power cruising, your pinion's actually going to raise up, rotate up one to two degrees depending on what springs you got. So... Let's see where we're at now. We're shooting for a difference of two degrees. Okay, guys, we're um, 83 right there on the, uh, sorry about the photography here, it sucks, 83 degrees. So we're seven degrees on that. And we, we've come up to uh, 15 degrees on this. We're still seven degrees out. Okay, we'll crank it some more. Now she's coming up, good. Rotating up nice. Let's see where we're at. Okay guys, painting angle is, uh, what is it? We're at 80 degrees, so minus that for 90, we're pinion sitting at 10 degrees. 
drive lines at uh, 14 degrees. We're still four degrees out, guys. We'll bring her up another itty bitty, one of them red hair type things. You know what they are, an RCH. Okay, guys, check the pinning angle again. Okay, we're at uh, 78, guys, so we're 12 degrees on that pinion angle. Driveline angle, 13 degrees, 13 and a half degrees, guys. 13.5 degrees. And uh, 90 minus um, 78 is 12 degrees. 13 and a half, we're out one and a half degrees, guys. I'm gonna uh, tighten these U-bolts down. I'm gonna call that good. Degree and a half, we'll be good there. Uh hey guys, back again. Um, we got these spring perches welded in. We had to pull this axle back out and uh, finally weld up these uh, spring perches here. Anyway, they're done, guys. Anyway, guys, uh, that's where we're at. We're gonna let this cool down a little bit. These are hot from weld. Uh, give it a coat of primer, paint this axle. Make it pretty again and put it back again. For okay, guys, um, we've got the axle back in. We've got the bed on, fully loaded, spare tire, all the tools, everything in there. We are, uh, we're going to double check this angle, guys, on this uh, pinion in here. Um, we did get the axle painted, got the U bolt uh, plate back on. These are torqued to 150 foot pounds. We'll go get the fine harbor freight tool and try her one more time, guys. We're going to measure um, with the socket this time. A um, little different way of measuring, but it's probably truer, truer than the way we measured before. Anyway, I'd rather measure twice to three times, guys. I don't want any surprises when we go to uh, drive this thing. All right, let me turn the flash on on this camera, and we'll look under here. Okay, guys, pinion right here. Yoke, driveline. Okay, what we're going to do is set this little socket right on the uh, flat of the uh, U-joint right there, guys. It's going to sit right flat on top of that um, U-joint. So that'll be uh, perfectly parallel with the U-joint. At least it'll, it'll give us a parallel reference. And then we can uh, see where we're sitting up here on the U-joint, guys, or on the drive shaft. It's been a long day. Okay, we're going to set this angle finder on. Okay, guys, I'm seeing almost 11 degrees there. Um, we've got a lot of glare, huh? About 1090, almost 11 degrees, guys. 1090. Looks like it's stabilized. This thing's kind of quirky. It kind of has to sit and uh, stabilize. Now we're going to set it on the uh, drive line, see where we're at. We're at uh, 1260, guys. Is it stable there? Did it stabilize? Yeah, we're good. 1260. We'll double check. Yoke. Now we're getting a little different reading. Let it stabilize. Okay, that's about where we were before, guys. Um, 11, 11 degrees. Drive line. I can't see it. All right, we're 1270. Okay, so 1270, that's our final reading. About, we're about 11.1, .1, guys, again. So we had 12.70 here, 11.1 there. We're uh, 1.7 degrees, guys. Our pinion is 1.7 degrees lower than our drive shaft. Let me turn this off. That's about what we want. So I was shooting between 1 and 2 degrees. We came out okay. Harbor Freight survived the test. Not going in the trash bin. Anyway, guys, I'm glad we did it this way versus this way with your uh, pinion shims. I don't want to lose my axle on the road. And uh, get you guys that do this, I don't think you want to use your lose your axle on the road either. I want to keep my axle right under my truck. 
Anyway, guys, we're done with that. Uh, we'll move on. It's a job that had to be done. Uh, took most of the day today, to guys, to do it. It wasn't a real big job, but it uh, takes a lot of time. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I'll sleep better tonight. Pretty sure of that. Anyway, guys, um, this is my double insurance. I'll sleep really well tonight. Anyway, if your heads, my day's done. Um, we did get our opinion set correctly. So we'll have some more videos coming out in a little bit, guys, um, after I get the uh, fuel injection ordered, and uh, it will go from there. Later, gearheads. Bye, guys. <laughs> Dodge M37. Spring perch, rotation. It worked out good. Took all day, though.